purpose does the gentlewoman from California seek recognition? Madam Chairman, I have an amendment at the desk. The clerk will designate the amendment. Amendment offered by Mrs. Napolitano of California. At the end of the bill before the short title, insert the following. Section, none of the funds made available in this act may be used in contravention of section 2101 of the Water Resources Reform and Development Act of 2014, 33 United States Code 2238B, or section 210 of the Water Resources Development Act of 1986, 33 United States Code 2238. Pursuant to House Resolution 223, the gentlewoman from California and a member opposed each will control five minutes. The chair recognizes the gentlewoman from California. Thank you, Madam Chairman, and I rise in support of the DeFazio, Poe, and Napolitano Amendment. Uh, I sincerely thank the ranking member, uh, DeFazio, and of course our ranking member and our uh, ranking member in the, uh, the Department of Energy and Com the Committee uh, for offering this critical amendment which implements the harbor maintenance allocation formulas that were carefully negotiated and included in the word of 2014 and passed the House by a vote of 412 to 4. I repeat, 412 to 4. Word of 14 said, any funds appropriated for the harbor maintenance account above 898 million, of course this was the baseline amount appropriated in fiscal year 12, should be, it doesn't say would be, could be, it should be allocated based on the following parameters. 10% at least goes to the Great Lakes. At least 10% goes to the expanded uses at donor ports, which would be New York, New Jersey, Miami, Seattle, Tacoma, Los Angeles, and Long Beach. Expanded uses are birth dredging, removal of contaminated sediment, environmental remediation, and or subsidies to shippers to continue use their ports, to use their ports. At least 5% goes to the underserved harbors. 10% goes to emerging harbors. The 2016 core budget does not, I repeat, does not include the word of 2014 harbor maintenance trust allocations. It does not include them. This amendment is needed to require the core to implement these funds allocations as directed by Congress. Madam Chairman, this amendment is especially important to provide fairness to my state of California and to other ports. All ports in California only receive 15%. This is all ports, back of what their shippers pay into that harbor maintenance trust fund. Last year, the users of the ports of Los Angeles and Long Beach alone paid $263 million in harbor maintenance taxes and received a zero, I repeat, zero back in harbor maintenance fund. This is terribly unfair and it is, as far as we're concerned, illegal. This amendment will ensure that it brings back a little bit of that fairness to the donor harbors by providing them with a small portion of what they paid into the system. Um, I do uh, want to add that this amendment is supported by the American Association of Port Authorities and the ports of Los Angeles and Long Beach. Uh, I do ask for support of the DeFazio amendment and I reserve the balance of my time. The gentlewoman from California reserves. Does anyone seek, rec uh, seek recognition in opposition to the amendment? I request a yes Woman, vote, Madam Chair. Recognized. I request a yes vote and, re and uh, uh, return the balance of my time. The gentlewoman uh, yields back. The question is on the amendment offered by the gentlewoman from California. Those in favor say aye. aye. Those opposed say no. In the opinion of the chair, the ayes have it. The amendment is agreed.